Now she lifted the trophy at the Euros last summer and was crowned Queen of the Jungle at the end of last year. And now she's had a pitch named in her honour. We're, of course, talking about Jill Scott. The Jill Scott pitch was unveiled in a ceremony at the Perth Green Community Centre in her local town of Jarrow yesterday. And the former lioness is still coming to terms with what she's achieved. This one's called the Jill Scott pitch. Um, did I ever think that I'd have a pitch in my name? Never. But I just think it's fantastic to have a... We always want more girls to get involved in football, but to have a safe pitch where they can play winter, summer, it's going to be floodlit, changing facilities. It really shows that women's and girls' football's uh, moving in the right direction. You can see the excitement on their faces. It must be a sort of special time to be a, a young girl coming through being inspired by someone like yourself and now having opportunities like this? Yeah, I've just been talking to them and, you know, while playing for Bolden myself, I think I can kind of really look at their journey and think if they keep working hard, then they can go on to do whatever they want because I still felt like that young girl just enjoying football right to the latter stages of my career. Yeah, and, and why... Why now do you think this has happened and not before? Is this inspired by the success of, of you girls last year? I hope so, yeah. And I think, obviously, with women's football and girls' football, it's always been a process. We've always said about having equal opportunities. And these pitches are going to provide that. It means that, kind of, the girls aren't an afterthought. They're going to be uh, um, a forethought, I suppose. And I think just being able to come and train here, they won't have the last slot. They might even get home in time for the tea, which is uh, definitely moving in the right direction. Well, Scott is hoping the new pitches can help to inspire the next generation of girls to play football. The Jill Scott pitch is the first of 23 pitches dedicated to Euro 2022 winners. So you're going to have a Millie Bright pitch, a Beth Mead pitch, uh, locations kind of. Some of them are still getting built, uh, some of them are in the process. But yeah, to think in the next couple of years you're going to have 23 Lioness pitches. I know that the girls are going to be so proud of that. I don't think anything's going to be 2022 for me. I um, kind of feel like obviously my football journey with retiring is over, but I hope that I can help the next generation get into a bit of football coaching and even days like this, having a little chat, sharing experiences. If it helps even 1%, then you know you've made a difference. So Scott hoping to continue to inspire the next generation and Football Foundation CEO Robert Sullivan is excited by the new project. Sullivan gave an insight into the work the Football Foundation is doing and spoke about the positive impact the project will have on the local community. So the Football Foundation is all about partnership. At, at the centre we're a partnership of the FA, the Premier League and the government and their investment through us. But locally we're a partnership about all these communities, the clubs, the local authorities who come together to invest locally and bring their time and their expertise and their passion to make great facilities like this happen. This is the first of 23. How are the other 22 coming along? They're coming along pretty well. We've got some uh, shortly in the pipeline so um, Elatoon pitch in Wigan that's very near completion and a few of us including Millie Bright and one or two of us coming along the way as well so uh, you know a lot of hard work going into them as you said but I think the celebration and the impact is going to be worth it. Yeah I was going to say moving forward what will, what will this do for young girls and for, for women in, in sport? Well we just hope that every girl has a great place to play and great access to great facilities because that's what they deserve and with, with the success of the Lionesses that will help and with our investment and the investment of our partners, the FA, the Premier League and Government, we will achieve that. Well, children from the local area spoke about being inspired by Scott. Some are hoping to follow in her footsteps in the future. She inspires me loads, especially because of the Euros. Um, that's really, like, took a really good impact on the full women's football. Um, but just hopefully I'm like, I'll be like her one day. <laughs> and how does it feel to meet Joe Scott? Really, really, like, really happy. Yeah. And I felt like, I felt, I felt good because she's famous. Okay. You may be famous one day if you keep playing football. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my dream. I really like football and my dream is just to be a really professional one in the future. Since she's just retired and being on I'm a Celeb, like, get, sorry, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It's really big because she's like a big, like influence in the football world and she inspires like young people like us That's exactly what she does uh, there's a wsl double header between manchester united and north london this weekend manchester city take on arsenal on saturday at midday and then tottenham face manchester united on sunday 11:30. both games are live on sky sports football and sky showcase